How are we doing? Good morning, good morning. Are you in the mood for some yoga? Come on. All right, so. You know what, today, we're alive again. We get another go over, right? How cool is that? I mean, if we start there, everything, uh, kind of puts everything into perspective, right? So, some people didn't wake up this morning, we bloody did. It's a pretty centering, obvious thought, right Buddha? So let's just, as we start, let's have a look, I'll just pull this a little bit farther forward. Let's sit down, take these first few moments to just settle into your body. Take a deep, deep, deep inhale. We'll do a one hour class with some nice rest at the end. If you haven't done yoga before, this is your chance. There's nobody watching you, right? Just sit your ass down, make some shapes and breathe. That's what we're doing. But while we do that, it's gonna energize you, get shit flowing, get stuff unblocked. All right, so hands on the knees just to center yourself. Close the eyes, right? When the eyes are open, it's taking in all kinds of stimulations. Shut the eyes. Deep, deep, deep inhale and sigh it out. Good, and again, deep, deep, deep inhale through the nose. And sigh it out. Let's slow that breath down a little bit, inhaling through the nose. Hold it at the top. Hold that breath. Exhale it all out. Hold that breath at the bottom. And again, inhaling in. Hold it. Exhale it. Good, take a few more rounds by yourself. Just putting the timer on. Keep your eyes closed and breathe. Monica, hi. Don't open your eyes, nor you, Bill, nor Cindy. <laughs> Good, deep, deep, deep inhale. Exhale. Right, when you're breathing, you're not thinking. You're just kind of hanging out with you deep down in there. Nothing else matters. Feel this body underneath your knees, under your hands, this container, this vehicle for your spirit, your consciousness, your aliveness, which today is alive. It's just focus on today, right? Nothing else exists really apart from right now. Take a deep inhale, reach the hands above the head. Just take a good morning stretch. Beautiful, take it over to one side because it feels good. Just reach the arm over, soften the other elbow. Doesn't matter which side you went to. Good, and again, inhale through the center. Reach tall, lift the spine up. You can keep your eyes closed. Reach over the other side, exhale, blow all that air out through the nose. Good, inhale back to center. Reach up this time. Lower the body forward on your exhale, just Hello hips, hello bum, fingertips to the ground, chin into the chest. <clears throat> Soften the elbows. Take a breath here. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring the hands behind the bum, fingers pointing towards the feet and just bring your feet out in front of you. Walk them to the outside edge of the mat. Take an inhale, take a little side to side. 
something clicked. Inhale, exhale, other side. You're making like windshield wipers. And again, inhale through the center. Follow your breath. The breath will lead you. Inhale, make sure your palms are flat on your mat. I can't because my wrist is crap. But soon it will happen. Inhale through center. Hold it there, bring your hands, bring your feet together, bring your hands on the knees, and let's lie down. Oh, 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 oh there we go. <clears throat> Take a good morning stretch. Lengthen the body. Oh, it feels so good. I should have stayed in bloody bed this morning. But I'm getting up for you, Lord. And the dogs. Hug your right knee into the chest. Actually, let's go right knee, yeah. Squeeze it in. Maybe rotate the toes around. <clears throat> and change direction. Good, now take your right hand out to the side like an airplane wing, palm facing up. Take a deep breath in. Your left hand is still on your knee. As you breathe out, draw that right knee all the way across the body. A little twist. Oh, you might get stuck here, that's okay. Let it come over. Keep your head facing the opposite direction. Inhale, bring it back through center. Take hold of your knee with both hands. Give it a squeeze as you exhale. Take that knee out to the side this time. Open up. You can open up your other hand. Good, follow your breath. Inhale through center. Grab both hands to the knee. Twisting over across the body. Open up the hand. So do it in time with your breath. Inhale through center. Just opening out the spine. Inside thighs, and again, inhale through center. Across the body. And oh, why does everything hurt sometimes? Inhale through center. Hug the knee in, and change sides, other knee. Bring it in, squeeze it. Maybe hover that other foot for a moment, hover. <clears throat> Point the toes. Relax that right foot on the ground. Give that left knee a squeeze in. Take that left hand out like an airplane wing, palm facing up to open out your shoulder. Take a deep, deep, deep inhale in through the nose. On your exhale, take that knee across the body nice and slow. You'll feel it in your bum. Lower back, turn the head opposite direction. Good, inhale, bring it through center. Both hands on the knee, change hands. Take that knee out to the side. So just listen, you don't need to even watch on these ones. Inhale, knee through center. Switch sides, other. Knee going right across. Let's just do a couple more of those. So just moving with your breath. Vinyasa type yoga just means breath and movement together right when we breathe there's a quote to follow the breath tames the wild horses of the mind hug both knees into the center give yourself a nice squeeze especially if no one else is squeezing you right now Bring the hands on top of the knees, so just make a little circle with the knees. Imagine you have a clock face right above your butt crack. So take it round clockwise, anti-clockwise, you choose your body. <clears throat> nice and slow, just feeling the sacrum, that's that lower back area, right above your bum. Good, now switch directions. Inhaling as you go around, halfway, exhaling, other way. And when you come back to 12 o'clock, 
Place the feet on the ground, knees pointing to the ceiling. Bring your hands down by your sides, palms facing down. And on your inhale, I want you to draw the belly button into the spine. Draw it all the way in. Now what happens, tailbone tilts. So continue that tilt, vertebrae by vertebrae, start to lift all the way up, pressing through the hands, pressing through the heels. Keep your chin facing up to the ceiling for me. Right, we don't wanna mess with the neck. When you're at the top, slowly exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down. So a nice, gentle warm up today. Tailbone hits the ground, the belly rises. Inhale, suck it in. Tailbone lifts, tilts, come all the way up. You're following your breath. Keep your chin locked where it is, slowly lower down as you exhale. Good, tailbone touches the ground, belly rises, suck it in one more time. Lift it up. This time hold at the top. Now, I want you to think about drawing the heels. Just think as though the heels are coming into your bum and pushing out with the knees, pushing forward. Feel that now in the tops of the thighs, the quads. Good, squeeze your bum and slowly lower. Slow, how slow can you go? Remember how low can you go? Oh, after a few margaritas, very low. Good. Hug your knees into the chest. Slowly rock a little side to side. Rock a little front to back. Until you rock yourself all the way up to seated. Here we go. Shuffle your bum back. Find your way onto all fours for me. So place your hands underneath the shoulders, shoulder width apart. I have a bad wrist, so don't copy me. <laughs> Curl the toes under. <laughs> what kind of budget yoga teaching is this? One one-handed people, it's all good. Taking it for the team. All right, knees hip width apart. Take a deep inhale, start your cat and cow as we call them. So drop the belly, stick your butt up in the air, nose to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, suck your belly button in, tuck the tailbone, chin to chest. Push through the mat. And again, inhale. And when you come down here, maybe rotate the shoulders back, rotate the elbows open. Exhale, push the mat away, chin to chest. Good, a couple more. And one more time. Exhale, come to neutral. All right, take the legs back. Come into plank position or stay here if you're just beginning. Plank position, I'm gonna try it one-handed. There we go, Whoa. plank. Okay, drop your bum, draw the belly button in to the spine. Gaze down at the floor slowly with the elbows coming into the side. Let's see if we can do this. Lower down, bottom of a push-up. Hell yeah, babies, look at that. Don't look, look at yourself. Release, release the toes. Press up, that's my first one since I broke my wrist. Look up, draw the shoulders back. Roll onto one side, look over the shoulder. Good, roll back onto the belly, other side. Ow, oh. Don't mind the moans and groans, come onto the belly. Curl the toes, come back to the knees, lift the hips high. We're into downward facing dog. So rearrange your hands, your feet. A good way to see is to come back to plank and then hips high. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, hips high. Good, now paddle the heels out, bend one knee deep. Press back through the other heel and again. Bend, push back. Now I want you to look at your belly button. 
press through with the hands, spread the fingers, and roll your weight onto your thumb and your index finger. Good, slowly. Come onto the toes, bend the knees deep for me. Bring your belly all the way back, push the mat away. Look forward, slowly tiptoe to the top of your mat. All right, you're with me. Bring your hands on the shins, inhale, look out. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, look out, I'm gonna have to pull my yoga pants up. Exhale, fold in. Next inhale, come all the way up to standing. Here we go. Reach up, look up. Take hold of a wrist, any wrist, and just take it over to the side. Good, inhale, look up. Nice tall spine, exhale, other side. Good, inhale up. Take your left hand, swing it behind you. Look over your shoulder, now think about bringing the hips square, inhale. All the way up, look up, reach, open out the other side, gaze over the shoulder and the thumb. Inhale, nice and tall. Give me a little back bend, open up the arms, shoulder blades, tips of the shoulders together, squeeze, look up, inhale, come tall, lengthen, now swan dive in, take the arms out, use some energy around you, gaze at the knees, inhale, a halfway lift, look out. Now here's where we take the palms down, take the feet back to plank or drop down to your knees. If you're on your knees, lower down to the bottom of a push-up. Good, sweep the chest through and up, release the toes, look up. Curl the toes, hips high, downward facing dog. Look at your belly, take three breaths here for me. Paddle the heels if you like. Look at your belly button, release the head, shake it left to right. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, slowly make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, look out, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold in, let's do another one. Inhale, exhale, come all the way up, spread the hands, come up, come up, come up. Nice and tall, I'm under the Gestapo light. Good, take a little side bend. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, other side. Good, inhale, nice and tall, open out. Twist out to the back. Following your breath, reaching up, getting this energy flowing in the body. Inhale, bring it up, little back bend, open out. Squeeze your bum, stick your belly out. Reach, inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, fold in. Chest to thighs, look at your knees. Inhale, a halfway lift, flat spine, shoulders back. Palms down, make your way onto all fours or into plank. Look down, squeeze the elbows into the sides, lower down. Oh, inhale, sweep it through, release the toes, shoulders back. Back to the knees, hips high, downward, facing dog. Three breaths, paddle the heels. Deep inhales, deep exhales, out through the nose, in through the nose. Come high onto the toes, walk, step, maybe float the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, this is where my belly's hanging out. <laughs> Exhale, fold. Come all the way up, you should wear tight sticking yoga clothes. Good, take it over to the side, we'll do one more round. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale. Inhale, open out to the back, look over your shoulder. Open out. Inhale, back bend, open those shoulders, squeeze your knockers out. Good, inhale. I'll get fired by the yoga community for saying knockers. It's an English word, people. Inhale, halfway lift, palms down, feet back, you can take your knees down option, lower the chest down to the ground, sweep it through, 
look up, shoulders back. This is called up dog. Press the hips back, downward, facing dog. Three breaths, paddle the heels or press the heels down to the ground. Look at your belly button. <coughs> Good, drop down to the knees. Take the knees outside edges of your mat, big toes to touch. Draw the bum back to the heels, walk the hands forward. Let's take child's pose for five breaths. Fingers out, forehead to the ground. Five breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose, and catch and slow your breathing down. Notice the energy flowing in your body right now. Feel your fingertips. Okay, lifting on up, onto all fours. Here we go, turn the toes under, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button, push your mat away. Take a deep breath in and lift the left leg high to the sky. Point that toe. Bring the heel in towards the bum. Lift the knee high and just rotate the ankle. Look underneath your right armpit, see if you can see your foot. <laughs> My boobs are in the way, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, change direction. Take an inhale, point that foot to the back of the room. Good, look between the hands, draw the body forward, knee to nose. Squeeze in, suck it in, lift up. Come high onto the back toe. Take an inhale, press that leg high to the sky. On your exhale, bring that left knee towards your left elbow. Kick it high. As you exhale, bring it over to the right. So crossing the body. Kick it high. Look between the hands. Slowly bring that foot in between the hands. That wasn't very slow. Good. Right, you stay high on that back toe. Look forward, draw the belly in. On an inhale, reach the hands up. Now you've got to balance here. You're high on the back toe, your heel is off the ground. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Okay, left hand, take it behind you, a little twist. Gaze over the shoulder and breathe. That hand that's at the back, put it on your bum. Lift the front hand up, it's a little rotation, a little twist. Gaze up at your hand. That right hand, bring it down to the inside of the foot. Lift that left hand high so you're twisting, rotating your spine. Reach high with those fingers. Good, now bring that hand down, walk the hands into the middle of your mat. So you turn to face the side, bring the toes around with you. Take an inhale, flat spine, look out. Exhale, fold in, crown of head to the floor. Feel into the backs of your thighs. Take an inhale, left hand reaches high to the sky. Look up. Another nice twist, take it down, other side, reach it up, take the gaze up and look down, walk the hands all the way back to the front of your mat, step that left foot back to the right, downward facing dog, take three breaths, catch your breath, And when you're ready, right leg high to the sky, so opposite leg. Lift it up, point the toe, and bring the heel into the bum. See if you can look underneath your armpit, and hopefully you don't see hairs hanging down, but you see your foot. 
Rotate the ankle. Don't get lazy now you're at home all bloody day. Good, point the toe to the back of the room. Knee to nose, draw the body forward, shoulders over the wrist. Suck it in and lift up onto the back toe. Hold it, press the hips high. Point that toe. Right elbow, right knee, connect, come forward. Hold for a breath, press it back, inhale. Exhale, cross the body, opposite elbow. <sighs> inhale, press it high. Look between the hands, bring the foot through. Right, take a second. Steady yourself, bring the hands either side of that front foot, bring the knee into the middle of the body. Lift the back heel off the ground. And when you're ready, rise up. You've got to really push through that front leg. Lift it up, gaze at the fingers. Got time my bloody hair back. Should have thought of that. And breathe. Now, open out to the right. Take a little twist. So the same hand as that front leg goes back. Bring that back hand onto your bum. Spank it, if nobody else is. Reach the other hand up. Lifting the belly off the thighs. Gazing up to that hand, a little twist, rotation. And a balance all in one. Take a deep breath in, exhale, bring that hand down inside the foot and reach right hand high to the sky. Cover that right, it's getting my eyes. Breathe. Okay, bring the hand down, walk. Somebody booted us off there. Good, breathe. I'm still with you. There's only one, some people are not staying at home, it's the spam callers. They get through everything. Good, walk the hands all the way back to the top of your mat. Take the right foot back, downward facing dog. Come high on the toes, walk, step, float, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Good, now bend the knees, sink the hips and lift the hands up. You can bring the palms together, it's called chair pose. So squeeze the shoulders, I'll just step back. Belly in, pick up all 10 toes for me. Make sure the weight's in the heels. Good, now drop the toes, maybe try and balance on the toes for a second. Squeeze the knees together. Ooh, how's your balance? Drop the heels. Take a little twist out to the left. So bring that right elbow on top of your left knee. Twist up, now press through the hands, so lift up. Take your gaze to the ceiling. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist out the other side. Good, inhale, come to center, come all the way up, give me a little back bend. You can keep your palms together and then bring the palms all the way through the center, chest to thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Take the palms down, feet back, lower down, take that chaturanga or come to the knees and do it with me. Lower the chest down, elbows into the ribs, release, look up. Draw the shoulders back, a little back bend there. Hips high, downward facing dog. Good, now use this posture, this downward dog as a resting pose. You take three breaths here. Just breathe. Pressing the heels down to the ground, fingers are spread, rolling towards the thumb. When you're ready, right leg lifts high to the sky. You can curl that hip, curl that heel into the bum, open up that hip. If flipping your dog is in your practice, you can flip over. You draw that leg down, 
you lift up. Open out the heart, open out the chest, or just stay with the leg, heel into the bum. If you flipped it, flip it back, leg high to the sky. Everybody, look between the hands. Take an inhale as you exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Now drop your back heel. So back heel's on the ground now. Take a breath, come on up, lift the hands up above the head. Warrior number one. Right, you get to hang out and breathe. Rest, deep inhales, deep exhales through the nose. This breath builds energy. Open out to the side, take both hands out. Chest comes out to the side, it's called warrior two. Now you're reaching forward, front hand, reaching back. Take your gaze to the front middle finger. Think about that right knee, don't let it collapse in. Take it out to the side a little more. Good, left hand, back hand. Touch your thigh, reach over and dip into that front knee a little more. And breathe. Now here's where we twist all the way around to the right. Bring the hands together, lift that back heel off the ground, left elbow onto the right knee. Take the gaze up, right? Might have a few wobbles, just relax, breathe. Press the hands down. One more breath. We're gonna rotate the body all the way around to the opposite foot. So take an inhale, come with me, all the way around. Bring the hands down to frame the left foot. Dip down, dip the bum down. Your right foot, turn the toes open to the sky. It's called Skandasana. You're really working this inside thigh. Walk the hands through, come the other side. Dip down, bring the bum down, flex the other foot. Beautiful, we'll do one more to the back of your mat. Walk the hands. And one more to the front, coming all the way round this time. Good, framing that front foot. Stepping the foot in together. Chair pose, come on up. Stand all the way up, bring the hands together. Bring the hands down to heart. Take that left foot. Let's do a little balance, a little tree pose. So you have a couple of options. You can just bring it into the ankle, right? So there's less to fall, right? Just play there. You can also lift it up just above the knee. Now I want you to pick a gaze point right in front of you, somewhere. Just pick a point, don't move your bloody eyes off there. Breathe. And just hang out here. We're gonna do 10 breaths. We've probably done about five. So you can reach the hands up. You can open out to balance if that helps you. Or just stay here. I can't count. So don't get hung up on how many breaths. Good, release the feet. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Back to chair pose. Good, gaze up at your thumbs. Take a little twist out, any side. Twist. Maybe this time you wanna open your wings. Just reach, but use that bottom hand to press the knees in. Bring your belly button into the spine, don't let it hang out unless it's just hanging out anyway. Good, inhale up, exhale, other side. Get your twist, lift up, and then maybe open up the wings. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Keep your knees bent, come all the way up, a little back bend. Ripple it down the center, palms together, slowly fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, feet back, lower down, that bottom of a push-up, drop to the knees if you're taking this option. This is always good while you're strengthening. Inhale, look up, exhale, hips high. 
downward facing dog. Take three breaths here, get your breath back. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, look at your belly button. And when you're ready, take the left leg high to the sky, point the toe, really push back with the hands to feel the length of your back. Curl that heel into the bum and hang out there. Rotate the ankle. If flipping the dog is in your practice, you can flip over. I won't because of my hand. That's just stupid if I do that, all right? You're learning to accept where you are today, right now. Flip it back over, everybody. Point your toe to the ceiling. Look between the hands. Slowly bring that foot through a bit more delicately than that. Seal the back heel, and on an inhale, bring those hands up. Settle into your warrior number one. So things to think about, relax the shoulders, gaze up to the fingers. And that left knee, don't let it roll in. Take it out to the side. Take one more breath, open out to warrior two. So hands come straight out, take your gaze to the front middle finger. Think about that knee, keep it out. And you're reaching front and back equally. Back hand down to the thigh, flip the palm and reverse. Okay, now you find your shape, dip into the front leg, look up at your hand, feeling a nice release in this left side body. Good, left elbow down to that left knee, reach overhead. Gaze at your fingers. This is where we twist down now to the left. So lift up that back heel, twist, bring the palms together. Look up, lift up, out of the chest. Two more breaths. We're going to go all the way, rotating all the way around to the right, to the back foot. Take an inhale, press up, dip down to the back of your mat. So you should be at the back, fingers down, flex out that left foot. Open it out, rotate it open. Get a nice release behind the knee, inside thigh. Inhale, walk the hands over. Other side, flex out the foot. Now, if, you're a, if you want to practice, your balance, you can keep your hands to heart. Do one more time. Good. Take one more, all the way round to the front of the mat. Rotate it round. Frame the foot with the hands. Step the foot together. Come on all the way up, bend the knees, sink the hips, stand tall, bring the hands to heart. We'll do tree pose on the other side. Should be your right foot now. So take your option either there into the ankle, right, less space to fall. Grab hold, and if you want to go hold a wall, go grab a bloody wall. You've got time. Good. Pick a gaze, don't move your eyes. And steady, steady gaze, steady body, steady mind. You can grow your tree, lifting up the hands if you like. Opening out might help your balance. Or just stay here. Bring the feet together, bend the knees, sink the hips, back to chair pose. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, a halfway lift. Palms down, feet back. I can meet you in downward facing dog, however you want to get there. I'll just step back and take my breath. Let's try and remember that. And we'll do it one more time, starting on the right leg. So lift the right leg high to the sky. Open that heel into the bum, rotate the ankle, or flip it over if that's in your practice. If you're flipping, open up the heart, press up, Ugh. flip it back, point the toe to the back of the room, look between the hands, 
Take an inhale, and as you exhale, bring it through. Drop the back heel. On an inhale, come on up. Lift the hands into your warrior number one. Feel it. Open out to two. Open out the arms. Dip into the front leg. Flip the front palm. Reverse. Take that front hand into the back. Let's add in this right elbow to knee because it just feels good. It's like a little warrior dance. Reach over. Good, now twist it right round. Pick that back heel off. Twist to the opposite direction, rotate. Look up, draw the belly in. And this is where we take our hands to the back of the mat, rotate all the way round. Hands frame the left foot. Straighten out that right leg. Lean forward if you like. Inhale, come through center, other side. Dip down. Inhale, through center. And dip down. Inhale, come all the way, that's what they all say. Inhale, exhale. Come all the way around. Step the foot together. Up to chair. Standing up into your tree pose. So find your balance. Take your option, ankle. Up here, we'll take five breaths. Good, bring the feet together, sink the hips, chair pose. Pick up all ten toes, take a little twist out, any side, little twist, you can open out your wings, if that feels good, inhale centre, exhale other side, feels good to be doing some bloody yoga really, I had so much time off with my wrist, inhale to the centre, I'm so grateful right now to be able to practice, bloody hell, inhale, exhale, fold in, Halfway lift, palms down, feet back. I'll meet you in downward facing dog, however you wish to get there. Take three breaths and we'll do it one more time on the other side. Take an inhale, left leg high to the sky. Curl the heel into the bum, flip your dog if that's in your practice, or just open out that left side body. Let the leg be heavy, lift the knee up a little higher. If you flipped your dog, flip it back. Inhale, point the toe to the back of the room. Exhale, bring it through in between the hands. Drop the back heel, get yourself steady. And when you're ready, rise. Strong, warrior number one. Dip into that front leg. Open out to two. Dip into that front leg. Flip the front palm, reverse. Take that front hand overhead, other hand on the thigh. Dip into that front leg. Let's bring elbow to knee because we're right there. Good, reach it over. Gaze up at the fingers. Here's where we twist out to the left. So twist, right elbow, left knee palms together. Lift the back heel off the ground, it'll bring your hip around. If you're like, oh shit, you'll see why. Lift that heel. Okay, here's where we take a big rotation to press all the way to the back of the mat. One straight leg, dip it forward, inhale, walk the hands over, and dip. Good. All the way over, All the way back to the front. Rotate the hands all the way around. Step right foot in to join left. Bend the knees. Sink the hips. Come on all the way up. Hands to heart and we'll do our tree pose with the right foot. Or the other foot, whichever foot you didn't do. Bring the hands to heart. Five breaths. We've got four left. And if you're wobbling, grab something. Steady your balance. You're just seeing what you need to work on, right? Ankles, 
massively important, all the stabilizer muscles in there. So as we age, that's the things that start to go as well as all the other bits, but that's the one we're gonna work on. Bring the feet together, take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down by the side, step the feet hip width apart, spread the palms for me. This is Tadasana Mountain Pose. Chin into chest, you can close your eyes if you like and just take your attention to your fingertips. Can you feel? Can you feel anything in the fingertips? Maybe a little tingling. Your body is alive with energy. And breathe. those hands above the head. Exhale, fold in. Chest to your thighs. You can have a nice soft knee, so if you can only get this far down, that's fine. You've got to practice, right? Loosen up this connective tissue. Inhale, halfway lift, look out. Exhale, palms down. Take the feet back, drop to the left knee. Take your right knee back and sit down on your bum. Oh, at last. Good, bring the feet out in front of you. Straight out. Take your hands, grab some buttocks, pull them out from underneath your sit bones. Right, so you can actually feel your pelvis, feel your sit bones connected to your mat. Bring the hands down by the sides, fingers point forward. And I want you to suck your belly in, bring your chin into the chest, and I want you to push down into your mat. Flex the feet, squeeze those quads. <clears throat> Take five breaths here for me. It's called staff pose. So stiff, staff, stiff, stuff, 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 stuff. No, not time for that. Breathe. So you're almost like lifting your bum off the ground, but not because it's a bit too heavy. Mind. <laughs> Good. Breathe. And relax. Inhale. Reach the hands above the head. Exhale, I want you to draw the hands forward towards the toes, right? Reach, 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 reach. Now you may get stuck here, so just bring the hands down onto the shins. If you can lower down a little bit more. Now I don't want you to kind of hunch over just to get there. I'd like you to keep that length in the spine. So take an inhale, lift up. Imagine the chest lifting up like a good bra. Lift, lift, lift and slowly draw down a little bit more. Let's do one more time. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. Draw the belly button in to make some space. Exhale, take the gaze down to your knees and rest five deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Slowly rise. Bring the left sole of the foot into the inside of the thigh. Keep that right leg long directly in front of you. Take a deep inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, slowly fold forward. But do like a little bit of a twist out to the right. So twist towards the outside edge of that foot. Bring the hands down. You might be here, that's okay. Just get that little bit of a twist. Now we found our shape, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in, look at your knees, head to knee pose. Relax. Close your eyes. Slowly rise, same shape other side, one leg out, sole of the foot in towards the 
business district. Take a deep, deep, deep inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, a little bit of a twist. Find your shape, bring the hands down to the outside. Then inhale, lengthen. So you're lifting up through the chest. Okay, so you're bringing the hips forward, the pelvis forward. If you need to take another inhale, lift. Go for it, exhale, fold in. Five breaths. Good, slowly rise. Extend both legs long. Bring your left heel in towards the body. Take two fists, place them in between your foot and your thigh. Good, now that straight leg, walk it forward an inch or two. Take your opposite hand, this is your right hand, take it onto your left knee, draw the left knee into the body. You can stay here. Take your right hand behind, bring it into the small of your back. Can you see that? So bring it here. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, lift up and rotate round. You can, if you can get your elbow around your knee, then do so. Now don't forget that straight leg, flex that foot, make it active and strong. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Bring your chin into your chest. Five breaths. Good, slowly release. Extend both legs forward. Other side. Bring the heel in towards the hip. Take your two fists and just measure you've got some space. Straight leg, walk your bum forward. It's just helps your, you've got a lot of things running through the hip, the SI joint, it helps protect. Now, rotate round, draw the knee into the body. You might have to move your belly, your boobs out the way. There's all kinds of stuff getting stuck. Oof. Okay, right hand, bring it into the small of the back. Fingers point back. So you don't just hang out here, make it active. Flex that foot, lift up and rotate the spine. If you can get your elbow around, good. Or just hug that knee in, gaze over the shoulder and chin into the chest, take five breaths. Squeeze that straight leg, flex those toes, make it active. Nice spinal rotation. to do. 
with your time to just kind of start winding your practice down. If you want to do happy baby, draw the knees down towards the body, reach. Reach through the middle of the legs and take hold of the outside edges so your elbows are inside the knees. Basically draw the knees down. You can rock a little side to side or just hang out here. Just releasing down through the bum, the lower back. Maybe press the tailbone into the ground. See what difference that makes. some nice compression in the hips, squeezing some crap out of there. Good, releasing the knees, bringing the feet down to the ground and opening the arms out like aeroplane wings. Palms facing up. Take a deep inhale and allow the knees to fall over to the left. Turn your head over to the right. And if you went the other way, I'll slap you. Not really. That'd be nice when you teach yoga. Stop slapping people. And breathe. center over to the other side and just take the gaze over to the opposite shoulder Drawing the knees through center, hugging your knees into your chest one last time. Hug them in and take a deep breath, draw the forehead up to the knees. Take a deep, deep, deep inhale, sip it in, any more breath can come in, hold it, hold it, hold it, and when you're ready, just when you're ready, hold it till you're ready to release it all. Just let it go, bring your hands down by the sides. Let the legs come down, palms facing up to receive and close your eyes. Breathe.
Take a soft inhale, a soft exhale. And again, nice, beautiful, life-giving breath into the body. Sigh it out. Maybe just taking your attention back to your fingertips. Maybe touching a thumb slowly with each finger. Waking this body up, this vessel. Maybe feeling the toes. Maybe that left hand finds its way onto the heart, right hand onto the belly. And take a deep breath in, that breath that is keeping you alive. No breath, no life. Simple as that. So feel that breath as you breathe in. Feel that belly breathing you, that heart keeping that blood flowing. That heart keeping you feeling and connecting. Connecting with you deep down in there. Underneath the skin, the flesh, the bones, underneath your clothes, underneath everything we surround ourselves with to give ourselves an identity. But who are you deep down in there? That spirit, that essence. Right? Something a little bit more than just the body. That aliveness. Another deep inhale and I want you to just feel the power of your heart, that energetic center of your body. Just picturing one thing, one person, something in your life that you are grateful for. Right now, feel how the frequency changes in your heart. Picture it. How does it make you feel? When you feel deep into that space, it kind of blows everything open, right? You vibrate at a different frequency. Take a good morning stretch for me, a deep inhale, reach up, reach up. Good, hug your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Find your way onto one side. And when you're ready, just press yourself up to a cross legged seated position. Bring the hands into the heart. Press the palms together, lower the chin, take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale it out, sigh it out. Good, and again, deep inhale. Sigh it out. I want you to thank you all for joining me wherever you are in the world. Well done. Took a little bit of time for yourself today to calm down, sit your ass down, and breathe. Simple as that. Namaste.